Welcome to Random Thoughts, Rayshawn Blyden here. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe. You have a Chinese citizen who was arrested trying to enter Mar-a-Lago, and he claimed that the CCP had a hand in the assassination attempt. Let's read this story. Don't forget, again, leave a like, share, and subscribe to help us spread. Let's read the story. Chinese citizen arrested for trying to enter Mar-a-Lago. He says, I can't pronounce his name. Z, Z, I can't, Z, Z, Lai, Li. I, he's 38 of El Monte, California. He repeatedly tried to trespass onto Mar-a-Lago while claiming he had documents proving that China was behind the July 13th assassination attempt on Trump, according to the Palm Beach Post. The attempted trespasses happened on different days, with the first attempt occurring on July 19th, when Lai Li pulled up to the resort's main gate and told Secret Service agents that he was in possession of documents. I wouldn't give it to them, buddy. I don't trust any of them either. Documents proven China's complicity in the assassination attempt against Trump. And someone named Johnny Maga on, on, uh, on X posted the video there. So, uh, shall we play this? Let's grab my headphones and uh, see what they say here. Okay, let's see what they say here. Now, a week after that, on July 30th at 10 a.m., Lee drove past Secret Service checkpoints and straight towards the estate's southern gate. Now, in violation of the trespassing warning, he was arrested. It's important to note Trump was not at Mar-a-Lago that day. A judge did give Lee a no-contact order for former President Trump and anyone associated with him or his campaign. He's not the first Chinese citizen to face charges, though, for trying to gain access to Mar-a-Lago. A woman was arrested in 2019 after the Secret Service said she lied to get into the club. The former President Trump, he does split his time between New Jersey and Palm Beach during the summer. He's not here right now, but is expected to return Saturday after traveling to Atlanta for a campaign rally with J.D. Vance. As for Lee, Palm Beach County court records do show that he is still sitting in jail, Brett, on a $10,000 bond. He's expected to be in court on Monday, so of course we're hoping to get a little bit more insight on this whole interaction here in Palm Beach. Okay. I wonder, I hope he didn't give the documents if it's in fact true to the Secret Service because it's gone and buried. I hope you you weren't that stupid to do that if you are in fact telling the truth about the documents. So agents told him that he was trespassing and was not allowed into Mar-a-Lago and the Palm Beach Police Department issued him a written warning, the Post notes. Police told him, that he could not return to Mar-a-Lago or he would be arrested. Trump repeatedly wasn't at, re reportedly wasn't at the resort at the time. And there he is right there. So, who do you believe? Do you believe that he actually had documents or he wanted to, to do harm to the president? What do you think? What do you think? So the town security cameras show that Lee's next visit to Palm Beach was July 22nd when he twice drove east and then west again over the Royal Park Bridge, first in the morning and then in the afternoon, the Post notes. Trump was at Mar-a-Lago that day, having returned from Wisconsin very early the previous morning on July 30th, Lee was 
spotted about 5.40 p.m. driving towards the security checkpoint for Mar-a-Lago at South County Road and South Ocean Boulevard. You know, Trump, if you listen to, to uh, P- is it PBD? Pat Bet David, PBD podcast, he had um, a very interesting conversation with with someone who you clearly need to get in contact with with the 30 of them including himself friends who are let's say snipers and the money that they would charge you to protect you from now until november 5th is it's a drop in the hat and and these guys are the top of the game i would get in touch with with uh pat bet david so you could get in touch with that guy and you could set this thing up because you are in danger i i don't believe that they're going to allow you to win because cheating is going to be harder this time on the in the bo- ballot box so they that's why they try to take you out that's just my own opinion you need to be careful i know that you're a warrior but you cannot be doing these outdoor rallies in fact i wouldn't you know if you want to do more rally do it zoom zoom when you're you're at home and you're protected in your home i just wouldn't do it just my own thing but uh Lay was blocking a lane of traffic, so a Palm Beach police officer stopped him and noticed that mar Lago's address was on his GPS system, according to the Post. The officer ultimately released Lee, who then left town, but returned less than an hour later, prompting the local police to tell him to stay the hell away from mar Lago going forward, but he didn't listen. The next morning, Lee was spotted driving past Mar-a-Lago several times. He eventually approached its southern gate and tried once more to gain entry, but he did not. He but he did so in violation of previous previous trespassing warning. Big mistake. Shortly thereafter, Palm Beach police found him back in the Palm Beach and. He was arrested at the intersection of Royal Palm Way and South County Road, north of Mar-a-Lago, the Post notes. Responding to his arrest, critics have raised a few concerns. One, why did it take so many attempts before he was finally arrested? And two, what of the documents, what exactly do they contain? Other critics, meanwhile, suspect that Lee is just a nut job. Honestly, if the CCP wanted to take Trump out, I don't think they'd recruit a young kid from a butler from Butler to to um, meander or meander about on a roof in line of sight of the SS before taking a shot. That's secret security, secret, I can't, secret service. One credit tweeted, what is in the documents? I hope Trump requested the documents. I hope that they, that they didn't give it to the secret service or the FBI because it's done, it's gone. I, that's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping that he did not do that, but yeah, this is, I just don't trust the government. I've never trusted them, but I really, really and truly just know that this deep state is up to no good. They want to get rid of Trump worse than anything ever. So anyway, that's all I got for now. Leave a like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Random thoughts, politics.